Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. So I'm filming in a different setup. Let me know if you like it down below in the comments and I will film right in front of this window more if you do like it. Today, I wanted to talk about my favorite leave-in conditioners. I'm always being asked what products do I like and why because I use so many different products in my hair for so many different reasons. A lot of times I get them sent in PR. A lot of times I just wanna try products out. So I've been natural since 2014 towards the end and I've been playing with different products here and there and I have learned Learned through trial and error what works for my hair what doesn't work for my hair I've dealt with a few setbacks so I'm able to tell you what works in my hair through experience and what I would recommend and suggest through experience also and I know many of you trust my opinion and what I have to say and also my recommendations so today I just want to go over my favorite leave-in conditioners I also have a video where I talk about my favorite pre poo shampoos conditioners and deep conditioners I will link them down below in the description box I will start making little five like folders the playlist that's what they're called so you can go back and see different types of videos at your discretion because many of you have requested for me to do that so I will definitely be making that so you can navigate through my channel a lot easier enough with the rambling so I wanted to narrow down my top 10 favorite leave-in conditioners I definitely recommend to use a leave-in conditioner because it helps to hydrate condition and nourish your hair after wash day this has to be one of my top three favorite leave-in conditioners it's by Shea Moisture and many of my favorite products are by Shea Moisture they have so many different lines this is their 100% version coconut oil leave-in treatment with coconut milk and acai Senegal now I love this leave-in conditioner it does have coconut oil in it and coconut oil works really good in my hair take note of what products and ingredients do and don't work in your hair for many of you coconut oil coconut milk anything with coconut does not work well in your hair so stay away from products that do contain coconut oil now I know that may seem like duh that's a given but certain products may have coconut oil and it's not listed like an active ingredient like this it's not so clear to see honey works great also a lot of Ayurvedic remedies and treatments and those type of ingredients I know work good in my hair and some ingredients just don't work well in my hair at all so I make sure to stay away from those products it's just so nourishing and also helps to reduce any frizz in my hair I do have four children so I I'm able to use it on all five of our hair and it works so good I love how it's lightweight but very creamy a lot of times with spray leave-in conditioner so it's more liquidy versus more of a creamy leave-in conditioner I find that some could be a little drying in my hair or I don't feel that nourishment in that leave-in conditioner and it also has shea butter in it and I know shea butter is an ingredient that works well in my hair some products that are too thick that have shea butter it does weigh my hair down but I find products that are liquidy like this or even creamy that do contain shea butter work really good in my hair so the coconut oil is an antioxidant and has vitamin e in it it helps to nourish the hair i mean i definitely have talked about the benefits of coconut oil numerous times here on my channel and also coconut milk helps to smooth and soften the hair and that's a plus and acai senegal so it helps to lock in moisture support hair elasticity and suppleness now those are the type of qualities that I want in my hair. I just want it to be healthy overall and this leave-in conditioner definitely gives that to me every single time no matter what I pair with it and that is also a good point to note. A lot of times because I do my WLOS method which stands for water leave-in conditioner oil in my styler in that order, that is what I do on my terms. Again, if I'm doing a sponsored video and I have to use the brand's products, perhaps they don't have an oil or they don't have a leave-in conditioner so I won't present that in that video and then it really penetrates into my hair it helps my curls pop and it pairs well with other products so for that reason I absolutely love it next has to be this one from Alakay Naturals this is their lemongrass leave-in conditioner it really helps to moisturize condition and nourish my hair it has it feeling so so good it also smells like lemon and pine like fresh pine and lemon that's exactly what it smells like I love it like this has silk amino protein in it some proteins I have found work good in my hair some proteins my hair just needs to stay away silk amino protein to help nourish and rebuild damaged hair so I would say my hair is not damaged but I find that products that are catered to dry hair damaged hair chemically treated hair 
definitely work great in my hair because they have those extra ingredients that help to nourish and condition their hair depending if it's wash day even after wash day it also has aloe vera in it and i love aloe vera i know that that is an ingredient that works very well in my hair i used to use aloe vera juice all the time after i washed my hair but i haven't lately it also has a lemongrass oil to help reduce hair shedding promote shine and volume i definitely noticed that my styles come out really shiny and healthy looking i also have a nice amount of volume when i use this leave-in conditioner i just love the way it penetrates right into my hair strands every single time i use it it has my hair feeling so moisturized so conditioned and i love the elasticity that i get i just love the way it makes my hair feel overall definitely recommend this next has to be this one from alba botanica this is their hawaiian leave-in conditioning mist drink it up coconut milk mega moisture it has coconut milk in it and i know coconut milk works great in my hair which is another reason why i wanted to try it in the first place i believe about a year or two ago i first saw it this is not the same bottle but i saw it at whole foods because i do majority of my shopping there they have so many great foods i absolutely love and Ooh, I was thinking about going there today, but it is almost seven o'clock and I know by the time I finish this video it's going to be like eight o'clock and they're going to be closed so I probably will just go tomorrow but anyway when I first tried this I was so happy also because it was seven dollars that's the reason why I wanted to try it and review it here on my channel because it is affordable I find products that are ten dollars and under to be very affordable and many of you love my affordable types of videos it just feels so good in my hair and it's also more on the cream your side so it's not a thin watery spray so it mentions to quench dull thirsty tangled trusses spritz on some light refreshing island hydration <laughs> i feel that it is very nourishing for my hair it's a protein rich coconut milk and argon oil unique plant source keratin created to protect a barrier that weightlessly protects even during heat styling so i don't heat style my hair i find that i could achieve any style that I want without having to add heat on my hair. So for that reason, I don't. But I do want to flat iron my hair in the near future. I'm just not sure when I'm going to do it. It just works so good and definitely hydrates my hair. Next has to be this one from Kinky Curly. This is their Not Today Natural Leave-In slash Detangler because you can use it as a leave-in conditioner and a detangler. And I love that about it. I haven't used it as a detangler, but I use it as a leave-in conditioner. I just really love the slip that I get. This has amazing slip. It is on the thicker side compared to the first three leave-in conditioners that I just showed you. I just love the way it melts right into my hair strands every single time and has my curls pop and they just feel like they've been hugged they just got that tlc i'm serious i'm all about really nurturing your hair because it will definitely show it has organic mango fruit extract organic slippery elm now slippery elm is an ingredient that i know many of us love because it has that slip and also marshmallow root in them i used to make so many diys i really have to get back to it because i love how i can really cater what i want for my hair so i used to make this DIY like a moisture mix and that works so good in my hair. I just have to make more DIYs and definitely film them for you because I know you want to know and see what I use in my hair. So it does have marshmallow root. Also it has a lemongrass. It has acetyl alcohol and that is a good alcohol for us. It's not one of those drying alcohols. But I'm telling you that slippery elm and marshmallow root between those two it really helps to condition and nourish your hair so after i apply this and i apply oil to help seal and lock that moisture in by the time i'm ready to apply my styler my hair is just so moisturized it's just exuding moisture all over this leave-in conditioner i know is a favorite for many of you out there and it's definitely a top favorite for me next is this one from afrigy this is their pro vitamin leave-in conditioner now let me tell you about this leave-in conditioner i have been using afrigy even before i went natural i have been using them for so long when my hair was always pressed when i did put a relaxer in my hair after going two years relaxer free 
I was using this. I found that this really helps to smooth my hair, but I just like how my hair strands, the cuticle, it just feels so smooth. It has a vitamin mixture in it. A lot of different ingredients. I just know the way it makes my hair feel, especially say I had a wash day feel and my hair just feels dry, it feels brittle, it just feels gross. This is a leave-in conditioner I will use to help rectify my hair and just have it feeling really smooth and soft and manageable. That is one of the qualities that I look for just to make sure I know a product is working in my hair very well. My hair needs to be manageable. If I put a product in, then my hair starts feeling dry, brittle, rough, jagged. My scalp starts itching. Mm. I know that that product has to go, but this is definitely one of the leave-in conditioners I would highly recommend if you notice that you had a wash day fail or even if your hair is more on the dry side and you just need a little bit of a pick-me-up, this is definitely one of my go-to leave-in conditioners. Also, if you do put a lot of heat on your hair, this is one of the leave-in conditioners I would highly recommend before when I flat ironed my hair all the time. This and another leave-in conditioner-ish, because it's not marketed as a leave-in conditioner, but how you use it is technically like a leave-in conditioner, which I will talk about to help fortify limp, lifeless hair and helps to resist humidity for better style control. This was a, and will be a leave-in conditioner I will be using a lot more now that it is very humid out. And I know if I don't use certain products in my hair that are going to be resistant to heat, my hair is just gonna puff up. It is so hot, it's humid. I think it was like 95 degrees here today. I live in Maryland. Maryland and it has been getting really hot. I'm not complaining because I love the summer. This is my favorite time of the year, but if you want your hair to last through this humidity, even if you go out, say you're going to a party and an event, a concert, and you need your hair to last, like the style to last, no matter if you're doing a wash and go, a twist out, braid out, perm out, out any style where your hair is out, like how mine is today, this is a wash and go by the way, this is a leave-in conditioner I would highly, highly recommend. So speaking of that other leave-in conditioner I wanted to talk about, it is also from Afrigy. This is their Keratin and Green Tea Restructure. Now, I love, love, love this, especially during this time of the year. Also, I'll say if I noticed that, say perhaps I was doing too much to my hair and my hair just feels over manipulated, this is the leave-in conditioner that I will go to. It helps to strengthen, instantly builds body, protects color and chemical services. So if you do a lot of chemical treatments to your hair, like bleaching, adding color, straightening your hair, all of that, I would definitely recommend to use this every now and then, maybe two times a month, because it definitely helps to strengthen the hair. A lot of times, if you add heat on your hair, you're coloring your hair, and the hair is bond, that's why the curls may not bounce back. And over time, continuing to do that so much, your hair is going to get straighter. I did just go out and buy a new diffuser. So I will be doing more wash and goes. I know many of you have requested to see. I was doing my wash and goes. I use the shower cut method. I will link it right here in the iCards. But sometimes I don't have all that time to do it. I love how defined my curls are and how long my wash and go stays. And it's also resistant to heat, humidity. I just love it so much. But now I think I'm just going to be diffusing my hair a little bit more. And of course the diffuser has a cool setting on it. And before when I was always flat ironing my hair, this was a leave-in conditioner that I love to use because it definitely prevented my hair from getting a lot of heat damage. I mean, there was a little bit there because I wasn't well knowledge like I am today about how to take care of your hair. I just wanted that flat look. I wanted my hair to be super, super straight. Times have definitely changed, but the directions say after shampooing, spray liberally onto towel dried hair. Now I don't use a towel at all. I use a kind t-shirt to help dry my hair because towels, they definitely can cause some friction and dry your hair out. I don't want my hair to be rubbing against a towel i mean no and it says comb hair gently with a wide tooth comb style as usual like i said i will be flat ironing my hair and this is a leave-in conditioner that i will be using next has to be this one from camille rose this is their coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment you can tell I love coconuts in my hair. So this helps to leave your hair nice and shiny, silky, and soft. And I definitely agree with that. 
I love this. This is another leave-in conditioner that's on the thicker side. So anytime that I do protective styles for sure, this is a leave-in conditioner I love to use. I'll use this one if I want my hair to be really, really moisturized. However, if I go in with this one, and it's really humid out, I notice that my hair may get a little puffy, especially at the roots. So that's not the look that typically I go for. I want all of my styles to be nice and defined from roots all the way to the ends of my hair. This is a lifesaver during the colder seasons like fall, winter, where I want my hair to be nice and moisturized, conditioned, nourished, and just to stay that way because I don't, I'll say I rarely redo my hair through the week. Typically, if I style my hair freshly washed, of course, that's it. I'll do twist and maybe do a twist out, but I'm not retwisting my hair throughout the week. I'll spray some water, add some oil in my hair and on my scalp just to make sure that my scalp doesn't get dry. This also has marshmallow root in it, so I know it has that slip. I'm telling you, between the slippery elm and the marshmallow root, those are two great ingredients if you want that slip in your hair. Also, it has shea butter, grapeseed oil, green tea, also sunflower seed oil, yucca root, which is another great ingredient, also aloe. So for that reason, I mean, even looking at this, I just was drawn to the color. Blue and orange are two of my favorite colors and just the way it looked, the packaging lured me to this years ago and I've been hooked ever since. This is definitely a product that has contributed to the way my hair acts over the week. <laughs> Next has to be this leave-in conditioner from As I Am. As I Am has amazing products. That is one of the brands I don't really talk about too much here on my channel. I find every time where I didn't film a wash day or I didn't film a style, I was using As I Am and I, I don't know why, it just happens that way, but I love using As I Am. It has coconut, Amla, sugar beet root, green tea, lemon, apple, sugar cane, photosterols, I'll put that word right here, and saw palmetto in it. This just works so, so good in my hair. It is a little bit thicker, like a, I don't know if you could see the consistency here. And it has a nice, like a sweet scent, but not too sweet, the sugar cane. That's probably what that is, the sugar cane. It smells so good. So this really helps to hydrate, soften my hair, also helps prevent styling products from flaking and hardening, yes. Every single time I use this, I had to stack up when I saw this because I went to a beauty supply store that I know carries so many different products that I love. So this leave-in conditioner helps to hydrate and soften for sure. Also it claims that it helps to prevent styling products from flaking and hardening when she use styling gels and creams. And I definitely have to agree, anytime where I know I'm going to use wet line extreme because that gel can definitely harden and i didn't use moisturizing products underneath it so it did get that crunch to it and ever since then i've layered really hydrating and moisturizing and thicker leave-in conditioners and oils before i apply the gel in my hair and let me tell you there is no more crunch i just love the way it smells the way it applies in my hair keeps my hair feeling very moisturized conditioned just like a leave-in conditioner should <laughs> i'm just laughing because a guy was walking his dog on the sidewalk and he looked up and he saw me filming and he's like <laughs> just a look on his face like what are you doing i'm filming in front of my window because i love this natural lighting this leave-in conditioner is from jane carter's i really love it is their revitalizing leave-in conditioner it claims that it helps to detangle and also there's a heat protectant in it so that's really good if you use heat in your hair make sure that you read product claims and mentions use products like that that are going to address your styles, anything that you're going to do to your hair. Also, it helps to revitalize, rehydrate, condition, detangle hair by adding penetrating humectants that increase the hair's ability to hold moisture. So that's important to note when you want a lot of moisture in your hair. But also, be vigilant that you don't put too many moisturizing ingredients in your hair, especially those that have natural humectants in them because they do attract moisture and all of us we want our hair to be moisturized and not dry out because that can lead to other problems but 
you can add too many moisturizing ingredients to your hair so that this time of year, well, here in Maryland where it's really humid and hot, your hair can puff up. I've definitely had that happen to me a few times and I had to think, why did this happen and why does this keep happening to me? My hair looks good, I didn't really do anything different. Why is it puffing up now that I'm outside? And that's because I used too many ingredients that were very moisturizing for my hair. And like the saying goes, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing and in that case, that was what it was for me for this leave-in conditioner i really love it it definitely has my hair feeling very soft very conditioned even all the way down to my ends my hair still feels good highly recommend it <laughs> and last but certainly not least by any means is this leave-in conditioner from shea moisture another shea moisture product my hair really enjoys a lot of the products that shea moisture has this is their Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In. And they also have some of the longest names out there. It has macro and Baobab oils. I really look for ingredients that I know my hair loves. If I'm on the fence and I'm skeptical about trying a new product, and I think, have I used this ingredient that is in the product before? And did my hair like it or was it a no-go? I have been using this leave-in conditioner for two years now. Not this one, but this you know what I'm saying. When Shea Moisture first came out with this line, they sent me a nice gift box that had all the products in it. And I tried it and I was so surprised. I loved how my curls just popped. The elasticity was there. My curls were popping without any product in it. And that's how I can tell my hair really enjoys a line. If my curls look so good, product free, like they say, naked hair. That's how my hair just looks so, so good. So this line is one of my favorite lines of all. Not just like a Shea Moisture line, but one of my favorite lines to use. I just love all these leave-in conditioners so much. They all add a lot of qualities that I just want my hair to feel and just be nourished and conditioned, moisturized, hydrated for sure. I really just want it to be healthy overall, which is why my hair looks a little shorter today because of shrinkage. But shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair, so don't be too upset. Just know your hair is healthy and you're on a good journey if you get that shrinkage. Because my hair, see now it's like right here, but if I let go, that bounces right back so that's that should happen i just can't get enough of this line especially the deep conditioner Woo, it has my curls popping every single time this line by far one of my favorite lines i have to make a video on all my favorite lines because I know many of you love using products from the same collection for wash day and also styling your hair. For me, it doesn't matter, just like with my skincare and my makeup. I just wanted to make this video, let you know my favorite leave-in conditioners. I know many of you love these types of videos. I know many of you love my wash days too, but I'm like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when this uploads, many of you are gonna be caught by surprise because there's not gonna be a wash day video this week, but hopefully next week there will be a wash day video. I really wanna say thank you so much for all your continued support here. Here on my channel, it means a lot to me. It really does. I can't thank you enough. And since I love trying new products out, comment down below some of your favorite leave-in conditioners or even some of your favorite products because I have found some gems through your recommendations like the African Pride Pre-Shampoo Treatment. That is one of my favorite beauty products hands down. Not just in hair, not just like a pre-shampoo, but overall my favorite beauty products because it just works wonders in my hair. It has my hair, my curls just feeling so, so good every single time and it's affordable, which makes it even better. Also comment down below some video ideas you want me to do that I haven't done already. I'm definitely open. I have my binder filled of video ideas to do trust me i have so many video ideas you will not believe coming so soon i can't wait to share them with you and with that being said i'll see you in my next video did you hear that that was my stomach i'm about to get some food i'm gonna go to panera <laughs> i'm thinking about the panera bowl oh my gosh it's so good what time i think it's 7 55 so before eight so we're good i'll see you in my next video Bye. <laughs>